everyone, it's Pete from Elf Boxes, and we've put together a series of helpful how-to videos to help you move. Enjoy! So now we'll show you how to wrap framed items like pictures and pieces of art. So first of all, if you're dealing with a larger piece that doesn't fit on the same size paper, you want to just stretch out your paper like this and use two pieces. Wrap towards the middle. And then you can use a piece of tape to keep it all together, or when you put it in the box, just put the folded side towards the edge. And you notice that we're putting it in a box that's already got packing paper on the bottom for extra cushioning. So we're going to repeat the process with these other pictures. We're just going to wrap them towards the middle and put them in the box. You always want to put the items vertically. They're a lot stronger this way than they are this way, so you want to pack them vertically. And whether it's a big picture or a small picture, you always want to use a couple of pieces of paper to provide cushioning. picture frames here. If you have some extra space in the box, you're out of picture frames, uh, one thing you don't want to do is put books because books are heavy and they're going to bang against the glass and break it. One thing you can use to fill up the box is DVDs. So we're going to fill the rest with DVDs and same thing, we want to pack the DVDs this way. If you pack it flat, you might crack the DVDs with uh, the weight of other things that are on it. So we're just going to put these vertically to fill up the remaining space in the box with the picture frames. So you want to fill up all the remaining space And if you have some awkward room between the DVDs and the picture frames where DVDs don't fit, you can use kitchen towels or bath towels and stuff, fit, stuff it in there to fill up the remaining space. So here's a packed box with DVDs and picture frames. In the space between the two, we're just going to stuff it with some kitchen towels to provide a buffer and some protection. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it and got something out of it, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And if you want to see more helpful videos like this, check out our YouTube page.